Hello kids. Well, today we will do adjectives of quality. So I've written the definition for you on the board. The definition is very, very simple. What are adjectives of quality? Adjectives of quality describe a person, a place or a thing. They point to the quality of a person, a thing or a place. Okay, remember that point as well. And they answer the question of what kind or of what quality. So now I will write a few example sentences for you on the board, which will make the uh, which will make this topic clear. Okay, so let's say sentence number one. I saw a hairy spider. Full stop. Let's say sentence number two. Let's say. Um, let's say a colorful balloon floated in the sky full stop okay let's say number three okay let's say a yellow Butterfly is sitting on a red rose. Let's look at these. Three. Let's look at the first sentence that I've written for you. This is your first example sentence. I saw a hairy spider. So, which is the noun, your kids? Spider is the noun, and hairy is the adjective. That is giving us more information about the noun spider. Okay, and hairy is a descriptive adjective or an adjective of quality because it answers the question, what kind? What kind of spider did I see? I saw a hairy spider. So it answers, remember it answers the question of what, or let's say just what kind or of what quality. Okay, so do remember that. Look at the second example sentence on the board. A colorful balloon floated in the sky. Okay, so if you, uh, uh, so there is sky is a noun. Okay, but before this noun you have the which is an article. We've not uh, spoken about articles. We are discussing adjectives right now. But here if you look at the second sentence, balloon is a noun. And Colorful is describing what kind of balloon, okay, uh, was floating in the sky. So colorful becomes an adjective. Now what kind of adjective is it? It is, it is a descriptive adjective or an adjective of quality because it is telling us what kind of balloon floated in the sky. It was a colorful balloon. Okay, so remember that. So this word out here, adjective, uh, it is performing its function. What is its function? It is giving us more information about the noun balloon. Likewise, your Harry is giving us more information about the noun spider. Now, if you look at the third sentence, kids, okay, here you have butterfly, which is a noun, and you also have rose, which is a now, okay, so a yellow butterfly is sitting on a red rose, okay, so let's say what kind of butterfly, a yellow butterfly, so this is an adjective of color, you can also call it a descriptive adjective, so this is the descriptive adjective here or an adjective of quality, okay, is sitting on a red rose, so red too is what, is it, it is a descriptive adjective that is giving you more information about the noun rose okay so i hope uh, you are understanding or you uh, have okay i hope you are understanding uh, the function of adjectives of quality or descriptive adjectives let's look at two more sentences let's say sentence number four let's say our teacher 
has a pleasant personality full stop okay or let's say i will write a few more sentences let's say india is a developing country full stop this is r and let's say one more example let's say he is kind okay fine so if you look at the fourth sentence our teacher has a pleasing personality so personality is the noun so what kind of personality does our teacher have our teacher has a pleasant personality so pleasant is a descriptive adjective that is giving you more information about the noun personality if you look at the fifth sentence india is a developing country india is a proper noun country okay is a common noun so this is a noun a common noun so what kind of country is it it is a developing country so this becomes a descriptive adjective okay or an adjective of quality okay it's pointing out to the quality of the country and the quality is that it is a developing country he is kind he is a pronoun and kind is an adjective a descriptive adjective that is giving us more information about this about the pronoun he okay so that's uh, it about descriptive adjectives or adjectives of quality uh, i can give okay we will move on to adjectives of quantity now and i um, i feel that you have understood adjectives of quality it's very very simple i will move on kids now now what we will do is we will do adjectives of quantity okay so what do you mean by quantity quantity means an amount so now we will do adjectives of quantity q u a n t i t y adjectives of quantity so first of all what do adjectives of quantity do they 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 tell us the amount of a noun or you can also say they tell us tell us okay 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 let's let, let's leave, keep it at this they tell us the amount of a noun okay and uh, remember that they do not give us information about the exact amount and or they tell us how much of a thing is meant full stop okay so they tell us the amount of a noun they do not give us information about the exact amount okay in the sense they do not talk about an exact amount okay they do okay and they also tell us how much of a thing is meant so i'll write three example sentences for you on the board okay so the first example sentence is let's say he has little intelligence first example sentence second example sentence let's say there is some water in the glass okay and the third example sentence is let's say i 
don't have much money full stop okay so now if you look at these three example sentences look at the first sentence he has little intelligence which is the noun here the noun out here is intelligence and this how so and this word out here is an adjective okay and that's that's answering the question how much intelligence he has little intelligence so this word out your adjective is giving us more information about the noun intelligence and remember intelligence is an uncountable noun now if you look at the second example sentence there is some water in the glass okay glass too is a noun but before uh, this noun glass we have the article the and if you look at the sentence water is a noun and before the noun water we have an adjective of quantity so how much water are we talking about we are talking about some water in the glass now if you look at if i so he has little intelligence so the word little is not giving you an exact figure okay we don't so we don't we just know that okay he has little intelligence means very very little intelligence okay there is some water in the glass do we so water is an uncountable noun and if then we say there is some water in the in the glass we don't know uh, the exact amount of water in the glass okay we just know that there is some water in the glass and if you look at sorry if you look at the third sentence i don't have much money again money is an uncountable noun so how much money am i talking about i'm talking about much money okay so this becomes again an adjective of quantity so remember adjective of quantity uh, answers the question how much so you have to ask yourself the question how much okay so and even money is a, an uncountable noun money too is an uncountable noun okay likewise water is an uncountable noun and intelligence too is an uncountable noun so we have used these adjectives of quantity with uncountable nouns in this case intelligence in sentence number 2 the uncountable noun is water in sentence number 3 the uncountable noun is is money okay so they do not give us information about the exact amount okay fine so so i have just explain adjectives of quantity to you now we'll move on and we will do adjectives of number okay fine i hope this is clear okay so adjectives of number again very very simple not difficult at all okay so now we will do adjectives of number n u m b e r so adjectives of number i will talk to you uh, there are three kinds actually first let me talk to you about uh, cardinals and ordinals okay we also call them definite numeral adjectives because they tell us the exact number of something okay so if you talk about definite numeral adjectives and don't be scared of these terms okay uh, because uh, the idea is very very simple so there are two kinds kids one you have cardinal c a r d i n a l s okay and you also have ordinals o r d i n a l s ordinals okay so what are cardinals and cardi okay cardinals are just numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 and ordinals are what first second let's say third 
fourth like this so what do cardinals do well cardinals tell us the exact number of a person or thing okay and what do ordinals do they tell us the order or position of a of a person or a of a person or a thing okay so now let's see how it works kids okay so remember cardinals what do they do they tell us the exact number of a person or a thing and ordinals kids they tell us the order or position of a person or a thing or the the, the position where it stands okay i will write a few example sentences for you sentences for you on the board which will make it clear to you so i'll remove this okay and i'll remove this and let's look at the example sentences okay so let's say first example sentence there are three students in the class full stop or let's say place these let's say 10 chairs in a row or let's say i have three sisters so if you look at this there are three students in the class students is a noun so how many students are there in the class there are three students in the class so this becomes an adjective of number and remember this is called an a cardinal a cardinal number so place the look at the second sentence place these 10 chairs in a row chairs is a noun so how many chairs am i supposed to place in a row i'm supposed to place 10 chairs this again is telling you the exact number of chairs okay that someone expects me to place in a row so again this becomes an adjective adjective of number i have three sisters kids sisters is what sisters is a noun again and three okay or let's say i have let's say i'll i'll remove uh, three in place of three i'll write two okay so let's say i have two sisters so how many sisters do i have kids i have two sisters this is an adjective of number okay and 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 11, and so on and so forth okay these are all adjectives of number and we call these cardinals and what is the function of these cardinals kids they tell us the exact number of a person or a thing okay so do remember that okay so now uh, we are talking about definite numeral adjectives why so remember three students so uh, so three students 10 chairs two sisters so we have an exact number here you know the exact number okay fine Okay so look at ordinals what do ordinals do kids ordinals tell us the order or position of a person or a thing okay fine so uh, or you can look at it other way you can uh, okay fine so let's look at the sentences sentence number 1 let's say january is the first month of the year okay fine so if you look at it month is a noun 
okay so if you look at the number of months you have january you have january year followed by february and then january february march april so january is the first month of the year so what do ordinals do so remember ordinals uh, okay are like uh, first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh these are all ordinals okay so what do ordinals do they tell us the order and position of a person or a thing okay so january is the first month february is the second month uh, march is the third month april is the fourth month of the year so i'm sure you've understood it by now so your month is a noun and first is giving us more information about the noun month and what kind of information is it giving us it is telling us the position of the month of january okay uh, uh, in, in the sense it's telling us that it's it's the first month of the entire year the position in which it stands uh, in relation to the year remember there are other months as well okay fine so january is the first month of the year and this becomes an adjective remember it is what kind of adjective yes it is an adjective of number but if you want to be uh, more um, as in uh, as in if you want to be more precise or if you want to be more accurate okay you all can you can say that this is an adjective of number sir and this is an ordinal uh, that we have used well, let's look at the second uh, example sentence i hope this is this is, uh, i i hope i'm sure you are understanding okay so let's look at the second example sentence kids so let's say this is my second video on adjectives okay so the first video is over so what is the position the pos so the first video is over and so this is the second video so in the next class i will teach you about possessive adjectives so that will be the third video so it tells us what the position in which a thing stands or the position where it is placed okay so this is my second video on adjectives so video is obviously a noun and here we've used what an ordinal adjective of number so this is again an adjective okay so let's say i'll give you another uh, another example sentence okay so let's say let's say the fourth question is difficult so let's say you so let's say your exam is over and your friend asks you hey, uh, how was the paper my friend and you tell him well the first question was easy okay so look at the position the first question was easy the second question was easy the third question was easy however the fourth question was or is difficult okay so so look at the look at the, the the so this the noun the noun out here is question and fourth is an ordinal adjective of number so remember that okay so this is first question second question third question and the fourth question okay so this is uh, what i want you to know so remember adjectives of number uh, we have definite numeral adjectives so we divide them into two they actually uh, yeah two kinds of cardinals and ordinals and i've explained it to you i'm sure you've understood it by now and uh, we need to do, i will the next uh, video i will teach you a bit about uh, indefinite new uh, numeral adjectives which is not a, a lot and we will i will also teach you possessive adjectives um, that is it for now goodbye kids